Today I'm at one of the hidden gyms of Oklahoma, the UCO Boathouse at Arcadia Lake. And boy, do they have some fun things to do. Let's go take a look. But before we can get out on the water, we have to get suited up in a personal flotation device, also known as a life jacket. So when we put our life jackets on, they go up over your head, and you got two buckles, two on your right side, a big one in the middle, a small one underneath. Got this entire cove. Um, that you can go in uh, over to our orange buoys over there, the swim area, over to that, and we just kind of draw a line across the middle of the lake, and you can head out to this entire side of the lake, out and about, and enjoy that entire area over there. After you're strapped in, you can take your pick of kayaking or stand-up paddleboarding as you make your way down to the water. And once you're on the dock, you get instructions on the ins and outs of paddling, and then you're set to go. The dock is also ADA accessible, so paddling here truly is available to anyone of any level. If you were to come in a wheelchair, you could come, come down our dock straight down here in the wheelchair and transfer from your chair to our bench and you can slide across all the way in and it's got varying levels so that you can go down and then transfer right in to the boat easily. It's great. It's like a little hidden gym. Right. You know, I don't think enough people know about it. Right. And especially when you have little ones that are always up for adventure. It's great. It's accessible. It's, and it's cheap. And it's cheap. Yeah. Cheap, fun day for the kids, yeah. for families to come out and do something. So, um, I mean, under 10 is free. So it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of new adventure. Aside from the water, the boathouse boasts mountain biking, a ropes course, and an arboral climbing system. But since I'm a bit of a thrill seeker, the zip line is definitely what caught my attention first. First zip of the day, zipping Gus in three, two, one. Have fun, brother. <laughs> and it was pretty incredible. I've been on a few zip lines in my time, and this one was one of the best. The initial drop is thrilling, and the speed that you get by the end is pretty exhilarating not to mention the great view of Arcadia Lake from the top. But that's not all. At the bottom, there are a few great challenges you can work on. This is uh, what we call our swinging log. We use this in our uh, team building activities with groups that come out here. And the focus of this one is goal setting and keeping your eyes ahead on the target at hand. And... <laughs> it was not the fall. They also have some fun and engaging team building activities that really will test your skills at working together. And so it's called the Whale Watch. And the objective is, is for you to get your entire group uh, up on it, you have to stay on top of it, and no jumping off or running off the sides, but as a group you have to work together to balance it and get all four corners off the uh, ground and sing through Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Yeah. <laughs> but if relaxing and grilling in the great outdoors is more your type of team building, you can do that too, with one of the most impressive cooking setups I've ever seen. You gotta tell me, what are we working with here? Well, this is our smoker that we use for corporate events, we use for uh, outings uh, that come out here, we take it out on campus. This side is all gas, uh, has two gas lines that can run through here, and that side is an actual charcoal and a smoker part. So from paddle boards and kayaks to team building, zip lines and mountain bikes, if you're looking for a great way to get outdoors and get engaged while staying pretty close to town, I have to recommend the UCO Boathouse at Arcadia Lake. For Discover Oklahoma, I'm Augustus Cook.